Welcome to TNPN Expert Education. In this video, we are going to see about micropropagation in banana. Banana is a globally important fruit crop with 97.5 million tons of annual production. In India, banana contributes 37 percentage of the total fruit production. Banana occupy 20 percentage of the area among the total area under crop in India. Actually, for the conventional propagation, we are using swat suckers. They are preferred commercially and it can be taken as the explant. So, before going to know about the micropropagation techniques in banana, we should know about what is called micropropagation and what are the stages in the micropropagation. Micropropagation is the rapid vegetative propagation of the plants and the in vitro conditions. In vitro means the laboratory condition. In the in vitro condition, the high light intensity, controlled temperature and a defined nutrient medium is used here. So, through by the conventional propagation, we are facing many problems for the crops. So, micropropagation offers many advantages through over through the conventional propagation. So, these are all the stages of the micropropagation. Micropropagation is a multi-stage complex procedure. In the first time, Murashi in 1974 proposed a three-stage concept. That means, stage 1, stage 2, stage 3. Totally three-stage protocol for micropropagation of the plants. But in later, 1981, Debug and Mane added the stage 0. So, currently the 5 stages procedure is widely accepted and in practice. That means, stage 0, stage 1, 2, 3, 4. Total count is 5 stage procedure. Let us see the stages. Stage 0 is the preparation stage. This stage involves the selection and maintenance of the mother or stock plants to provide suitable explants of good quality for initiation of the cultures. While selecting the mother or stock plants, yield potential and healthiness should be considered. Before, the mother plants should be very healthy to yield many uh, the seedlings very healthy. So, this preparation stage includes the preparation of the medium. Most probably MS medium used for the all the culture system. So, in this preparation stage includes the medium preparation and also the selection and maintenance of the mother stock plants. Stage 1, initiation of the aseptic culture. So, this stage involves isolation of a suitable explant from the mother plant followed by its establishment on a chemically defined culture medium under aseptic conditions. So, in this initiation process, the explant collected from the field or uh, greenhouse cultivated plants. So, it should be very healthier. After the surface sterilization, the explant inoculated to the nutrient medium through for the initiation process. Stage 2, shoot proliferation stage. So, this stage involves a rapid increase of the regenerated shoots or asexual embryos through subculturine, which can be used to provide the large number of the plants or propagules. An appropriate cytokinin to axin ratio in the culture media is essential for the shoot proliferation. So, in the stage 2 shoot proliferation stage, subculturing is a very important process. After one or two weeks, the initiated explants are formed as the shoots. These initiated sh shoots are transferred to the fresh medium for the subculturing process for getting many plants. Our aim is getting more plants from the single explant. So, subculturing is the one of the important process here. And another one thing, cytokinin ratio. High level of cytokinin compared to the axin which enhance the support of the growth of the shoots. So, this is a very very important thing in the tissue culture process. High level of cytokinin, low level of axin induce the shoot formation. So, this is the shoot proliferation stage. 
स्टेज थ्री रूट डेवलपमेंट दिस स्टेज इन्वॉल्व द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ शूट फॉर द रूटिंग द प्रोलिफरेटेड शूट आर ट्रांसफर टू द रूटिंग मीडियम इन द रूटिंग मीडियम एस्पेशली इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ हाई लेवल ऑफ एक्सिन सेंसेश कल्चर द ग्रोथ रेगुलेटर्स प्ले अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल फॉर द शूट एंड रूट फॉर्मेशन समटाइम्स शूट आर डायरेक्टली एस्टेब्लिश इन द सॉइल एज माइक्रो कटिंग्स टू डेवलप इन टू द रूट दिस प्रोसेस एक्चुअली कॉल्ड एक्स वाइव रूटिंग ऑनरली वी आर डूइंग इन विट्रो रूटिंग फॉर सम क्राफ्ट एक्स एक्स वाइव रूटिंग ऑल्सो पॉसिबल stage 4 is the hardening process hardening is refers to the preparation of the plant for a natural growth environment the plant lets are removed from the plant media and transferred to the soil or potting compost for continued growth by conventional methods so this is about hardening see these are the stages of the micro propagation of the banana so the first one is the initiation process here the shoot tip or collector from the swart suckers and initiator this is initiation and second is the multiplication stage see the picture shoot multiplication second bottle consists of shoots multiple shoots and third picture shows the elongated shoots see the last bottles of the plants the so rooting plants banana rooting plants Okay, why do we go for micro propagation? A single plant can be multiplied into several thousands of plants in less than year. Is one of the main application. Once established, a plant tissue culture line can give a continuous supply of the young plants throughout the year to produce the virus free plants. Especially for the banana plants, it should be free from the virus because most of the banana plants are affected by the bunch top virus. Short time and space. okay let us see what is the micro propagation techniques uh, in the banana plants first the process is the selection of the ex plant the micro propagation work can be facilitated by the strict selection of the planting material at the onset of the production cycle suckers suckers can be collected from the field condition or in the gene banks and the farmers field also or from isolated nursery area but it should be free from the viral infections criteria for the selection of mother plant they are very disease free high yield and good quality plants see these are all the swart suckers selected for the x man collection see the last picture so from the swart suckers after washing with the tap water the shoot tip is collected from the sucker this is a exact shoot tip used for the as a explant in banana micro propagation preparation of explant and fresh inoculation wash the sucker thoroughly in tap water roots and leaf sheets are removed and basal portion of the comb is cut and trimmed to a size see the size of the comb 12 into 12 into 15 mm to preventing uh, the browning of the shoot tips they are stored in the anti accident solution that means 100 mg of ascorbic acid 150 mg of citric acid per liter of the sterile water why we are go for the anti accident solution procedure means oxidation process occurs in this condition so to prevent the oxidation process the shoot tip must be stored in the anti accident solution till they are moved to the laminar flow chamber for inoculation purpose so then the explants are treated with 70% ethanol for 2 minutes then washed with sterile dish water this is the surface sterilization procedure for banana after that the explants are treated with the 0.1% mercury chloride for 5 minutes three rinsing of 5 minutes each with the sterile dish water So actually, for the surface sterilization, each and every explant have different minutes. So for banana, we are uh, giving this time. The explants are trimmed to a final size of 8 into 8 into 10 mm in sterile condition, then inoculated on the MS media. MS is the muraschik and soup media plus 3 milligram per liter BAP 
BAP is a benzyl amino purin is a cytokine in. So for uh, after initiation we are getting shoots that is a stage. So here we are using BAP medium MS plus BAP. Then incubation. After inoculation the culture tubes are incubated at 25 plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius and light intensity is maintained at 1500 to 3000 lux. The cultures are maintained at 16 hours light and 8 hours dark period. Most probably this uh, light period is incubator. For callous induction it may be deferred. The media used for inoculation is changed after 21 days for 3 times unless the phenolics released into the medium may inhibit the growth of the plant tissue. Phenolic substance may be released in the tissue culture medium. So it must be continually changed the medium concentration change and then also the subculturing is occurred. Subculture is done after 20 to 25 days of the initiation when the explants turn green in color because the white yellowish white color may change as the green color. So this is the stage of the subculturing. For subculturing, the outer dead tissues from the base of the explant is removed and one or two leaf bases are peeled till the fresh meristematic tips get exposed. During the second subculturing process, the central meristematic produces clusters of proliferating buds. Approximately 1 to 3 axillary buds may be formed, may be regenerated from the basal port of the explant around the central apical meristem. So then further subculturing, the explant is cut into 3 to 4 pieces and each slice with the 2 or 3 proliferating clusters is inoculated into the individual culture bottles. Subculturing is a very important process for getting more number of plants and nutrients also fresh. The plants may be uh, is, uh, growing very fast. During the fourth and fifth subculture, a single clump contains, just imagine, 15 to 25 proliferating shoots. So to minimize the somatic variation, the subculturing is restricted to a maximum of 7 cycles. In each bottle contains about 25 to 30 plantlets with well developed shoots and also the roots. For banana 7 cycles is enough. For some crops it may be extended up to 10 cycles or 15 cycles. But banana 7 cycles is enough subculturing process. And see the multiplication. The multiplied shoots in the conical flask. Banana plants. Rooting. After 5 to 6 subculture cycles, the proliferated buds are transferred to the rooting medium, it containing high level of axin and activated charcoal. See, uh, the activated charcoal is added in the base part of this bottle. Black color is uh, indicating the activated charcoal. Because through by, during this process, the phenolic substance and to some toxic substance may be released. So the activated charcoal uh, absorb that particular toxic substances. So it will uh, prevent the, effect, I mean, uh, prevent the damage of the tissues. After a month, the rooted plantlets are ready for hardening. So hardening, primary hardening, secondary hardening. See the difference between primary and secondary hardening. Primary hardening, the plantlets are transferred to the pro portraits under uh, the greenhouse condition. The secondary horning, the plantlets are transferred to the nursery bags or poly bags under the sharded condition. See the difference between both hardening, primary and secondary horning. Okay, advantages. The plant can be exactly cloned like its uh, mother plant without any variations. The plants grown from tissue culture method can be grown disease free, large numbers and it can help farmers to get disease free seedlings. This is the main advantage of the micropropagation technique and a banana. Disease free, especially virus free seedlings. It can be grown throughout the year. So getting a sample of banana tissue will not be a problem for tissue culture practices. The uniform maturity of the banana fruits makes the harvesting process very easy and it reduces the labor costs. Okay, if you like, 
this video like share and comment thank you